மூலபந்தா <laughs> சுவாமி புத்தானந்தா இத வந்து டாக்டர் சுதந்திர தேவி எனக்கு கொடுத்தாங்க அந்த புக்கில இருந்து அதுல வந்து நான் மகாபந்தாவை படிக்கும் போது ஐ ரியலைஸ் இட் இஸ் மோர் ஆஃப் காய்கல்பா அதனால அதை எடுத்து நான் இதுக்கு அப்ளை பண்ணிருக்கேன் அதான் இந்த டாபிக்கு அதனால அந்த புக்கு நான் கடைசியில காமிக்கிறேன் அது அவைலபிள் இன் பிளிப்கார்ட் வி கேன் பை ஃப்ரம் தேர் சோ இட் இஸ் மகாபந்தா இது கண்டென்ஸ் ஜலந்திர பந்தா உத்யான் பந்தா அண்ட் மூலபந்தா சோ in the concept of the lock is to release the energy at the mental and pranic level as the banda pannirukanga so idhula rendu na moola banda direct ah poyen it is the perineal contraction simultaneously both sensory motor and autonomic because when we contract the pelvic floor sacral nerve is stimulated and the pelvic plexus also getting stimulated so it is to nerve the sensory motor and autonomic system but what here i want to tell is see in the parasympathetic system uh, is dominant than the sympathetic system that's what they in the book they are telling so in the uh, endocrine pathway we have to talk more about the hpa in this they are talking more about the limbic system we are talking along from the hypothalamic hypothalamo pituitary adrenaline gonadotropic axis so there are do uh, do it's only one path hpa hypothalamo pituitary adrenaline axis that also includes gonadotropic axis and also it includes the limbic system as he said amygdala hippocampus mammillary bodies are also coming into action because they are all more concerned with the emotional aspect and the parasympathetic stimulation helps to control the emotion from the lymphatic sympathetic system and helps to stimulate the endocrine pathway and helps to maintain the homeostasis of the body so bandhas affect the endocrine glands and the glands are intimately related to the chakras that bandhas so bandhas also affect the chakras in turn affects the endocrine glands so this are we know and regarding aswini mudra see only when we contract the anal sphincter that's called aswini mudra that's why when magrishi is telling first we will be doing aswini mudra when we are doing ojas breath he will add that word mola bandha also so uh, magarshi has not left it first we are doing only ashtanga mudra but when we are pulling for uh, ojas breath he will be telling mola bandha also so kachari mudra this is the one it has got four stages we can do only the first stage second stage is difficult third stage and fourth stage only by practice we can reach i think it's very difficult and one more thing is the bindu chakra bindu chakra is an important center for health giving us the power this is called the eighth chakra the chakra benefits the eyesight quietens the emotions and promotes the inner harmony and clarity it is the chakra of divine love spiritual compassion and it also holds all our karmic stuff also so this is the front this agna chakra is there correspondingly in the back the bindu chakra is there and talu chakra is bit below so this we call as the eighth chakra so in udyan banda we are compressing the abdomen and what they say is it's the brain in the stomach it's a brain gut axis so it influences the brain so udyan banda through its gut axis it influences the brain and jalandhar banda yes it influences the pituitary and pineal glands and uh, the main muscle which is coming into action is multifidus muscle in, in the udyan banda 
uh, we are using the transfer head down is machine and in uh, uh, mole banda we are using pelvic floor and in the dalandar banda we are using this multifidus muscle so we as uh, sakti said the sympathetic the parasympathetic system situated at the cranial level and the sacral level so this i have shown in the picture right so this is the medu where the medulla oblongata lies and the human anatomy of the brain so what jalandar banda compresses the keratic sinuses so when the when we are doing the jalandar banda it can compresses the carotid sinuses so it contains the barrel receptors it contains the carotid body and uh, so this in turn it uh, influences the aortic body also so in this way this helps this and all we can discuss afterwards because for the short of time just i'm mentioning these words and moving out because we are all in the medical fraternity so we can again go back and read all these things but i have given fully in this so where they are situated what is carotid body what is carotid sinus what what is aortic body all these things i have mentioned so these are all things what is the function of the carotid body it controls the blood pressure mainly and helps to maintain the life is the guardian of life and death they are telling and medically we are using in very many places so next is maga bandha that is mula bandha seals the lowest portion of the tube jalandar bandal sees the upper portion of the tube prana is now locked in this and udyal bandha when it contracts it stimulates the um, manipura chakra it is for agni and it provides heat so the energy is uh, expanded and when we release it it spreads throughout the body this is called maga bandha and release of energy the same release of energy our swami ji simplified it and he used it in the kayakalpa right so this is the thing kasari mutra it closes the top of the sushumana and jalandra mutra closes the wind pipe at the top mula bandha locks the below the sushumana nadi and the udyal bandha gets helps to heat the energy that is locked into the sushumana nadi so so this is the thing i am explaining again with the pictures so maga bandha is prana is compressed in sushumana that is the one and retention consciousness i have given the slides please go through the slides because this slowly we have to understand this and we have to keep it in our mind because retention consciousness through the breathing exercise we can control our consciousness and we even ultimately we can evoke the kundalini shakti so that is what the retention consciousness so this retention consciousness is separate topic okay then anatomical and physiological aspect of the chapter 3 this perineum perineal body and pelvic floor so uh, the perineum is this you know it is control that yellow the nerve is the parietal nerve it controls the whole pelvic floor the pelvic floor contains many muscles and it kind of serves all the muscles so again this is the perineum urogenital diaphragm at the back and the anal muscles in the back so this we can see what is the those are the anal region found at the end of the gastrointestinal tract those are the urogenital region around the urinary and sexual region but the muscles of the anal region is the larger of the two groups they are involved more in ashwini mutra and mola bandha that influences the reaction so these are all the pictures i am showing the urogenital diaphragm slowly i am removing uh, removing that membranous part in the uh, upper portion i have removed showing the only muscular part and in that i have removed the muscular part of the urogenital diaphragm and we are seeing only the pelvic floor muscles of the anal component so this is the female structure the urogenital region and the uh, with the blue arrow i have showed the urogenital region then this is the male in the urogenital region is shown in the near the penis so muscles are the perineum and the so here i want to talk one thing when the 
urogenital triangle and the anal triangle are meeting. They are all connected with the fibrous tissue that is called the uh, I'll tell you that. So perineal body and what they are telling is that perineal body, body is an atrophied or vestigial endocrine gland because we are not using our pelvic floor 99% consciously, only while passing urine or during the sex or during passing motion, automatically that comes into action, but it is not comes into action through our consciousness. Because it has gone beyond our consciousness, that urogenital body supposed to be a hormonal gland has become atrophied and become a vestigial organ. But if we consciously bring the pelvic floor contraction into the brain and through the neuroplastic method, if we can register that pelvic diaphragm into our brain, in future it may come into action. That's what I have studied, my feeling also and my sharing with you. And uh, this controlling of the perineum, it has got different parts. So urination, defecation, sexual intercourse, these are all there. As I said, they are not under our conscious control. So here, Vajroli Mutri con concerned with the Kegel exercise, Mola Bandha and Asuni Mutra, all the three can be separately operated. But this can be brought into action only by regular practice. So only through regular practice, this can be brought under conscious control and can be impressed in the brain. Then only we can do it. So we have to do regularly. This exercise should be done regularly. Then only we can achieve this. Right. So the per now we are coming to the perineal body again. So that central gray area is the perineal body. And in the male, it is the perineal body. And in the female, it is around the cervix. So the contraction of the muscle in the perineal body in the male is taking place in the pelvic floor itself but in the female, it is taking place around the cervix. So now we have to read more about the perineum and the perineal body. And the anatomical aspect of the Vajroli Mudra, Aswini Mudra and Mola Bandha, we have to read again. So the anal area, we have to read again. So now I am coming to the what Sakti was talking more about neurological and endocrinological aspects. So this is the neuroendocrine path, HPA, and I have showed all these things because the slide with you people are there, how it gives a positive feedback and how it acts in the negative feedback, how the hypothalamus, the whole limbic system and cerebral cortex are all involved in this neuroendocrine path. So, in the, the central nervous system, you know, spinal cord, the brain, and this is the classification of the central nervous system. And this is the motor function and autonomic nervous system function. So, how do we calm the somatic nervous system? That you can read it, spend time in nature. Simply, it is yoga. Through yoga, we can calm the somatic nervous system. At the same time, autonomic nervous system also can be brought under our conscious control. And especially through the Mula Bandha and Jalandra Bandha, we can control the parasympathetic system. Usually, these are all the two points where we can consciously, we can influence them. By Mula Bandha, we can influence the sacral area and by Vajrani, uh, this case uh, is Kesari Mudra and that thing, we can control the cranial part. So, this we will read. So, here I mentioned what is the uh, cranial part and the sacral part of the parasympathetic system.
sympathetic nervous system, how it influences. Mostly it is in the emotional state. So this is the sympathetic system, cervical, thoracic, and lumbar. So what happens in sympathetic and parasympathetic reactions? Integration. So neurological, endocrinological action is the nervous system allows the fine, precious, immediate control of the body with very little delay. But the endocrine system, on the other hand, is slower controlling mechanism, regulating metabolism, and the basic structure and the function. So it acts slowly, and the nervous system acts fastly, immediately. So the neurological, endocrinological uh, uh, functions, how they manipulate our energy. Actually, they work through the limbic system, and within that lies the hypothalamus, which controls the autonomic nervous system as well as the endocrine system. So the cellular connection in the neuronal system are gap junctions, synaptic junctions, chemical neurotransmitters are that. In say endocrine connection, there are endocrine hormones. The hormones can be neurohormones, local hormones, paracrine action, and autocrine action. These are all the actions of the endocrine system, but both are interconnected. So this is the endocrine or neuroendocrine path, hypothalamus, pituitary, adrenal axis that com combines the limbic system, thalamus, hypothalamus, pituitary, adrenal glands, and gonadal hormones. So uh, limbic system more concerned with the stress and uh, uh, high this contains I mentioned the parts of the limbic system and uh, I've talked about the amygdala. Amygdala is more like feelings like pressure, fear, anxiety, and anger. Hypothalamus regulates the motivation, emotion, and learning, and memory. So uh, thalamus is the one which is the uh, connecting pathway between the upper and lower aspect. So this is the hypothalamus. These are all parts of the hypothalamus. And this is the HP axis. This is the pituitary gland, anterior pituitary, posterior pituitary, the secretions, and uh, what posterior pituitary secretes. And what about the pituitary gland again? How the Kasari Mutra influences the pituitary gland? And Ashwini Mitra and Vajrayana Mitra, how we can, they are represented in the brain, and through conscious effort only, we can make them to get a impression in the brain that conscious and unconscious things we should understand and we should practice it. That the pranic technique, again, the Mulabandha is a pranic technique. It uh, hitherto unknown hidden areas of the perineum are stimulated. So it is really work of a psychic and it becomes more in the conscious area. We are bringing that into the conscious area. So psychic energy is a really concentrated energy. It, uh, by through this, we are making it as a laser energy. It is like a concentrated sun and it will work on the body. So, These are all the benefits of the pranic energy, then the mula therapy, the how the mula bandha gives. So it is the depressions of physical energy, imbalance in pranic body, imbalance in the mental body, all are getting benefited in this mula therapy. Blood pressure, where to go, cranial pressure, amenorrhea, piles, constipation, and in the female, the menstrual thing and uh, during the childbirth it helps for the normal delivery and it prevents the prolapse by strengthening the pelvic floor, helps to reduce the urinary stress incontinence and leukoria and in the male it helps to prevent the inguinal area, control the testosterone secretion and sperm formation, Mulamanda alleviates the spermatal sporea that is leakage of seven. So the benefits also, it helps for the women as well as the men. So what you see the sexual energy that through the uh, reaction we are creating. So 
So mentally also this helps to relax the mind. So it release the phobia, mania, hysteria, depression, and anxiety. So only if they are caught in the early stages only, when they are in the very late stages, we cannot do much in the psychotherapeutic values. So it acts as a mental purgative, releases the subconscious and conscious mind, which are all beyond the consciousness. When they are released, really the that reaction called the abreaction, abreaction gets stimulated and the patients opens up and they vomits everything in their subconscious mind and that helps the physician to treat them. Actually, physicians are using the drugs to bring out the abreaction, but this, our Molabanda also helps to bring the abreactions. So this is the conclusion. And uh, uh, this is the practical notes for Bandhas. Practical notes for Bandhas again. The power of Molabanda I mentioned in these slides. So here again, I have continued further. I still I'm working about Molabanda, Bindu, Pituitary Gland, Space of Brahman, Mahabanda. Limbic system, I am working more. In the limbic system around the pituitary gland, so many other glands are all there. So how they work, how the pineal gland works, how the pineal gland responds to the uh, uh, sunlight. And this is the circle. This is the pineal gland loop, illustration of the suprachiasmatic nucleus and melatonin loop. So pineal hormones, dimethotryptophan, and the functions of the pineal gland, these are all there. So with this, I would like to close. We can go for the discussions. Yes, sir.